everyone it's finally time for another book video today i'm doing a january wrap up so i have read a total of 13 books 14 if we count one book that i dnf'd six of them were five star reads five of them were four stars and two of them were 4.5 so it's been a really amazing reading month and I really want to share all these books with you so without any further ado, let's jump right into it. The first book that I read is Wild Embers by Nikita Jill. This book was absolutely incredible. Nikita Jill has become one of my all-time favorite poets. I absolutely love her books. She just writes the poems so beautifully and they always just touch me so much and I relate to so many of them and I just, I absolutely adored this book and it was totally incredible. And yeah, <laughs> if you're looking for like a poetry book that you would like to try, maybe you don't read much poetry or, you know, I absolutely recommend this. It's pretty short. It has 150 pages and since it's poetry, you can read it in like super quickly. The next book I read was Mating the Huntress by Talia Hibbert. So Smutathon was going on around the beginning of the month and I actually kind of vlogged it, but then I never uploaded it <laughs> and I don't know if I should upload it because it's really late and I don't know. Um, but <laughs> this book was so much fun. Like, I saw the title and the cover, I was like, okay, interesting. I barely ever read paranormal romance, but this made me want to read so much more. So, this book is super short. I was so sad when it was over, and it's basically about a werewolf and a werewolf huntress. And <laughs> the guy is like, we are like mates, we are men meant to be together. And so he kind of like ghost starts going to the coffee shop where she works and he tries to, you know, talk to her, but he is not like a toxic stalker, creepy dude type of a character. He, you know, he is weird because he is a werewolf. And that's something I really loved was that he wasn't the best at like human stuff he didn't fully know how to function like a proper human how to talk and everything but he was respectful and really really sweet at times and this book just didn't take itself too seriously at all it was hilarious i was just having so much fun <laughs> reading it and it was just super chill and lighthearted. and the like if you're looking for like a, a paranormal romance where the like paranormal things are really like a big deal and it's a big part of it. This is not really the case. It's obviously a tiny part of it, but it's definitely not the main thing. It's just a fun, chill, really, really fun romance. And I just had so much fun reading it. The next book, oh my god, was Heated Rivalry by Rachel Reed. And I also read this for the Smutathon. And holy shit, this book was so intense. Like <laughs> I don't even know what, like, oh my god. So it's basically about two hockey players, two of the like biggest NHL stars, and they are considered rivals. And one of them is Canadian and he's gay, and the other one is Russian and he's bisexual. And <laughs> holy fuck, I don't even know how to express, um, yeah, this was definitely one of the best romance books that I've read, like, especially male-male male, male romance, because the stakes were so freaking high, because they are hockey players and they're rivals, and one of them is from Russia, and so, like, the stakes were, like, all the way up there, and that made the reading experience so much fun like i enjoy reading romance books where you know it's pretty chill and you just know they're gonna be together and you know things are pretty easy and whatever it's nice sometimes you know it's a nice break and a nice escape sometimes you just want to chill and you know but at the same time it is so incredible to read a book where like you think you it's it's a romance so it should have a happy ending but um it's still so difficult and you're like, how are they gonna figure this out? And you're just rooting for them so hard and it's just like, oh my God. And I was just losing my mind reading this and I absolutely recommend it. 
Wow. The next book I read was The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Janata Petrus. This is a female-female uh, contemporary romance about two girls from uh, really different backgrounds. So one of the girls, Audrey, is from Trinidad and she is sent to Minneapolis uh, by her mom because she catches her kissing a girl. And the other character, Mabel, lives in Minneapolis. They, their families, I think, kind of know each other and so they kind of start hanging out and they become friends. And this book I'm actually gonna like is gonna be featured in one of my videos that I'm gonna upload hopefully very soon, so I don't want to spend too long talking about this, but I ended up giving it four stars, and I actually didn't say the ratings for the previous books, but all of them were five stars actually, so easy. <laughs> this book is really beautifully written, and it's like, it has this like magical or like spiritual vibe to it that I really liked. The only thing is, I feel like the relationship between them was, they just, like really sudden and I just wished there were more scenes between the two of them and yeah but it is a really beautiful book and I would definitely recommend it if you are looking for a female female romance it's really nice however one of them has cancer so just a warning the next book I read was hate to want you by Alicia Rag which was also for Smatathon and this book is an adult romance in case you couldn't tell from the cover <laughs> where the two of them are from kind of like rival families they kind of like had a company together and then things went wrong and now the two families really 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 hate each other and so the two of them are like really attracted to each other they were also like high school sweethearts and then you know things fell apart and so they just kind of hook up once a year <laughs> and they obviously still care about each other but they kind of can't feel like they can't be together because of their families and everything and I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. It wasn't like the best thing I've ever read, but I did really enjoy it. The next book I read was Birthday by Meredith Russo, which was which is also going to be featured in an upcoming video. This is a book about a girl and a boy that have known each other for ever <laughs> since they were born. And Morgan uh, is a trans girl. And so she... The book is mostly about that, and it's an extremely intense book, so just like a warning, there's a lot of like heavy, serious things going on, so just if you want to read it, just a warning that is super, super intense and really, really hard to read at times, but it's such an important book and I absolutely loved it. I, I don't even know how to ex like express... Um, my emotions and thoughts when it comes to this book. I really, really recommend it. The next book that I read was With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I gave this one four stars and it's basically a book about a young uh, girl who's still in high school and she has a little daughter. So I think she got pregnant when she was 15. I really liked that aspect of it because I don't think I've ever read a book with like a young mom like that. And one other thing that I, the book is a lot about cooking. So cooking is like the biggest passion of the main character and she just, you know, wants to do that but she also feels like she, like she's not really sure about it. And um, I really enjoyed this book. It felt really real and relatable and uh, the, there, there is a romance in it, but it's definitely not like a big thing and uh, it's just like a small part of it. I really enjoyed it and the cooking was such a fun part of the book because I've, n I've never read anything like that and it, it made me like hungry and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to cook all these cool things. <laughs> and it was just a really, really nice book and it was just like a really warm book. It's a really comforting read and I really recommend it as well. I honestly recommend all the books that I'm mentioning today. <laughs> and I actually listened to this on audio and Elizabeth Acevedo is the one that does the narration and I absolutely love her voice. It's amazing. So if you want to like listen to it on audio, I definitely recommend that as well. The next book I read, I finally have a physical copy, but this today I actually have only two, sadly. 
Um, this is Fierce Fairy Tales by Nikita Jill. So, the same author I mentioned as the for the first book in this video. Since she has become one of my all-time favorite poets, I really want to get to all of her books. And so I got this one. And this is like a collection of stories and poems. Like, short stories kind of, and poems about like fairy tales and it's kind of like feminist twists on the fairy tales and like deep messages through the fairy tales and how maybe like the fairy tales should have been and things like that. I gave this one four stars. I enjoyed it, um, but this is actually similar to Great Goddesses by Nikita Jill. Is that the name? And I don't love the fact that it's like short stories and poems because I just feel like if it was in the normal standard poem form, it would have touched me much more and it would just like have been a better reading experience. It's not that it's bad at all, it's just not really like the short stories aren't really for me. It's not like my preferred format of things like this and I just would have enjoyed that more. But I did really like it and I would still recommend it. Just know that it's not only poems, so it's not the same as her like normal poetry books. The next book that I read, oh I have another physical one. This is the last one for today and I read another comic book. This one is called Bloom and it's by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganacho. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, it's such a cute cover <laughs> and this is actually also gonna be featured in one of my upcoming videos. I'm sorry if that's a little annoying. Um, but I gave this one five stars. It's extremely cute. It's also a really comforting, like, warm read that's really, like, light and there's nothing serious going on, really. And it's just a cute romance between two boys. It gave me really strong Heartstopper vibes. I just really enjoyed it. It's super cute and I really like the uh, art style. Also, there's a lot of, like, baking and the book is entirely blue or like turquoise or whatever this color is <laughs> and i really like the art style and it was just really nice and even though it's kind of a pretty long comic book since it's a comic book i still read it really quickly the next thing i read was a fake girlfriend for the chinese new year by jackie lao this was really fun i gave this one four stars it's a really short I think it's a novella and it's kind of the, the title honestly says everything you really need to know <laughs> it's it has the fake dating trope and it's about just two friends actually I didn't know that they would know they actually know each other and they have been like meeting up every Friday for drinks for for a while as friends and the guy wants to have a fake girlfriend for the Chinese New Year because last time for Thanksgiving I think his family kind of like set him up with uh, someone and it wasn't a great experience so he's like I need a girlfriend for this shit but he doesn't actually want to be in a relationship so he asks his friend and um, they start a fake relationship and then you know shit happens. Um, it actually is like a bit of a longer fake relationship because they keep it up for like a week or two um, and it's just really chill and really nice and light and I enjoyed it and that's yeah <laughs> the next book I read is if I was your girl by by Meredith Russo so the same author that wrote birthday this is about a trans girl who has already transitioned and she goes to live in like a new town where people don't know anything about her past and all of that and you know she like makes friends and starts a relationship and everything and I didn't enjoy this as much as Birthday. I felt like the characters weren't as well developed, but at the same time, it is still a really, really important book. And it was this one was actually like one of the first books I think that featured a transgender main character. So I gave this one a four stars. I don't know if I said that. The next book is. The one that I DNF'd, and I don't actually know if people mention the books that they DNF'd in their wrap-ups because I've never actually DNF'd a book, <laughs> really. This one is Insatiable by Melanie Harlow. I read Irresistible, I think, and that was a four-star read for me. It was really fun. 
it was great and I would recommend that one. It's just basically about a guy who has two kids and he's divorced and the girl becomes their nanny and it's fun. I liked that and so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try this one and this is actually the third one in the series and I read the synopsis for the first one and it just didn't sound appealing. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the third one and it just wasn't it. <laughs> I didn't know if I got like halfway through and I just felt like the main character's voice was super immature. Like it's, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be like in their early 30s and she sometimes sounded like she was a teenager and I just didn't love that and it didn't really excite me. It was just kind of strange and I just wasn't enjoying it. So I was like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> The next book I read was Operation Atonement by Talia Hibbert, which I gave 4.5 stars. This is really great. <laughs> it's another really, sh it's a really short book and also I got this for free when I signed up for Talia Hibbert's newsletter. So if you like romance and you just want a quick fun book, you can get it for free if you sign up for her newsletter and Talia Hibbert has definitely become one of my all-time favorite adult romance authors and she's incredible and she needs more love so I'm gonna keep on recommending her books on forever <laughs> and this is really 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 fun and basically the main guy um, is a fake boyfriend of like another guy for their like high school reunion but he is straight I am pretty sure uh, so he just wants to do a favor for his friend so that he's not alone at the high school reunion. <laughs> and there, the guy runs into the other, um, uh, the other main character, the female ma main character. And they both are like, you know what, you're hot. <laughs> and then they just start texting and everything and shit goes down. It's not a very special plot or anything, but Talia Hibbert just really knows her way with words, her writing is so great and she always makes me care about the characters so much and root for them and everything and I just really enjoyed this and I really 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 recommend all of Talia Hibbert's books and I need to read more of her backlist books really soon. So um, yeah. <laughs> Last book that I read, I kind of actually finished after midnight so technically it was in February but you know. I already finished it, so I might as well talk about it now. It's An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This has been on my TBR for like two years, <laughs> and I'm so happy that I finally got to it. Uh, the ebook is actually available on Scribd, which is the thing that I keep talking about <laughs> um, all the time, and it's so good. I just love it. Not sponsored. I wish. <laughs> anyway, so I got the book on Scribd, and it's so much fun. So I also gave this one 4.5 stars. It's not a perfect book by any means. The like, uh, there's like a lot of flaws I could see in it, but usually I don't rate books by how I think it's good objectively, like well written and all of that. I rate it based on how much I love it, how much I enjoy it, how it makes me feel, all of that. And the book is basically about a painter who is like the best painter. It's a fantasy and it's set in like a fairy world and so there are humans and then there are fairies, fae people <laughs> and it's really interesting. So I I got really strong Cruel Prince vibes from this book. It honestly could have been the same world, it just felt really really similar and the fae people are basically just like not very human at all. They normally don't feel human emotions and the humans are just normal humans and the fae people can't do like human things so they can't write, they can't cook and they're just really weird so I did not see that coming. It was pretty interesting but the love interest actually does have human emotions which isn't really ever explained really that well but again it's not the best book objectively but I just had so much fun reading it and the romance was kind of insta lovey but at the same time I didn't mind it that much because like nothing really happened between them for a while and I I was just really enjoying it and it's a really fun like adventure and it's super fast paced and it only has 300 pages and I just read the book so fast and it was a really pleasant <laughs> great fun adventure that was really light, nothing too 
crazy, nothing that requires much, you know, focus and things. And so, yeah, again, it's not like the best quality, but I really cared about the characters and I enjoyed it. And there were so many flaws, but who cares? Cause it was just really fun. So those are all the books that I have read. I normally don't really talk about them in that much detail. And now I'm like, oh my God, I've been talking for almost 30 minutes. So I really need to shut up now. Um, please tell me what is like the best thing that you read this month in the comments down below. And yeah. <laughs> Um, have a great day and I'm gonna see you soon in another video. Bye!